We've got a great music programme this year in the Guildhall. We've got almost three or four festivals rolled into one. We've got folk rootsy acts, blues, rock, ska, reggae, everything you can imagine. A bit of prog rock thrown in for good measure. Uh, we have Show of Hands back this year who are festival patrons. And Steve Knightley is also premiering a brand new solo show which is happening at the Mariners, a show called All at Sea, which is taking on tour next year and will be always performed in sight and sound of the sea. Uh, that's the idea, or a river. Um, we have Martin Barr, a sort of great rock guitarist. We have blues rock with Joanne Shaw Taylor. We have The Beat. We have Legend, Bob Marley, Music Night. Um, we've got something for everyone. Derbyshire, a six-piece Irish band, have been around for probably 25 years now. Uh, play the most wonderful Irish music you can imagine, fronted by a lovely singer called Cathy Jordan. And they're breaking their journey back from a tour of America. Uh, rather than flying straight back to Ireland, they're flying over here first to do a show as part of the festival this year and then going home to Ireland. And it's their first time in Cornwall, first time in St Ives, and we're really looking forward to them. Kate Rusby, uh, a great raconteur, has great stories, writes and performs wonderful music and is well known across the folk roots world. It's been around for a long time and that will be a, one of many wonderful nights in the Guildhall. And also the Tower Music Project which is now based at Bedford Road Church which has lots of local youngsters performing music there every Friday night and they're also doing a concert during the festival and will be out on the two Saturdays the 12th and 19th of September um, busking in the streets and helping us sort of keep that festival vibe alive. A myriad of venues across town, more than I can remember, but the School of Painting is an obvious one, Porthmere Studios, the, the Boathouse Theatre, the Western Hotel, the Arts Club just down the road from here, which was founded in 1890. Um, so there's lots of walks, talks, theatre, spoken word, um, music, in all of those venues right throughout the 15 days of the festival. One of the things we're very pleased about this year is a young local professional surfer, Tassie Swallow, who's opened up this surf training centre on the island. And the official opening of the centre is happening during the festival this year. So she's having a music night there. It should be a, a good local evening for youngst youngsters to get involved in the festival. You can buy tickets from the festival website direct or again, all the w's.crbo.co.uk.